Hello to this introduction to the Cloud's HSM service by Securisys, the HSM as a service which we provide to customers over the internet. My name is uh, Reto Stoible. I'm responsible for BizDev and uh, services. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to give you a quick introduction. Why is everybody going to the cloud? How to uh, protect data in the cloud? What is the benefit of the Securisys cloud solution? I will give you a deep dive in the architecture of our solution, comparing the different packages we offer, go a bit into a comparison of our service compared to others, and a comparison of cloud HSM uh, versus on-premise. So going a bit into statistics, it's amazing how many enterprises have converted and running or are experimenting on cloud services like AWS, Azure, or Google. Amazon Web Services, for example, up to 77% of enterprises are already testing or are about to use AWS as the platform, followed by Azure, by Google. When you move data to the cloud, you have to take care that you safeguard sensitive information and meet regulations and be compliant. GDPR, for example. So all these uh, solutions, they also provide a key store, but you really want to have the key store under the same control as your data. If we look at the conflict we find between GDPR and the Cloud Act and Patriot Act of um, companies, US companies, which have to follow uh, these regulations, we see how dangerous it can become when the data and the keys to that data, even so they are encrypted, would be hosted by the same organization. In Cloud's HSM of Securisys, we can solve uh, this issue and we can keep the keys and certificates in an environment which integrates with these cloud services, but with it with, with under control. So beside that, the cloud HSM service helps you to solve physical deployment challenges. So if you're a smaller company, or if you are not dedicated in HSM operation, you don't have to invest in the hardware. The cloud HSM solution is redundant, is available, it scales very well. And on the other side, the operation of the HSM is conducted by specialists. So no training in your internal resources or definition of process is required. The Securities Cloud's HSM service is under Swiss data protection law. The HSMs are compliant to FIPS 140-2 level three. And the HSMs are located in ISO 27K certified FINMA conform tier three data centers. Sometimes talking to people about cloud HSM, I find a certain misunderstanding, maybe triggered by the word cloud HSM. Our offering is not in the cloud. It's not in one of the big uh, cloud providers. It is a managed HSM service of shared or dedicated HSMs. They are all under our control. They are like a private cloud service. They use physical Primus HSM devices. They're located in Swiss data centers. 
We have two active data centers where people connect and load balancing and failover is activated. And we have a third data center deep inside the Swiss mountains in a former military bunker, which keeps the data of the HSM in a fortified environment. If we look at the drawing, we see on the left side actually the customer connecting to the HSM service to the right side. And the way of using this is very versatile, be it for crypto custody, protection of storage, data encryption, protection of VMs, identities, PKI solutions, or signing services. They all connect up to the Cloud's HSM service over a protected communication channel, AES-256 GCM encrypted. Now let's go a bit deeper. The Cloud's HSM architecture compounds of two data centers which are active, which hold, depending on the package, the service package, a cluster of HSM. So in this case, we have a cluster of four HSM distributed over two data centers. On the lower part, we see that these HSMs and the service is operated, maintained, monitored by Securuses. All the HSMs in the service are in a high availability cluster. So the data from one HSM is synchronized to the others in the same cluster. To get access to the Cloud's HSM service, you gonna have to pass the Primus proxy. The Primus proxy is firewalling, is providing denial of service, and is allowing a whitelisting of the source IP, of your IP from where you connect. Customers of the Cloud HSM service connect from their business application by installing one of the typical HSM APIs like JCE, PKCS11, or CNG. The connection the business application is doing over the API is to one of the partitions of the shared HSM. To gain full control of that same partition, we offer a partition administration decanos. By that, you can manage all security settings of the partition. You can see the logs of that very same partition. You can do a backup and restore of your partition data. So you take it, it to your site for uh, redundancy purposes. And you can go that far that you issue the credentials for the business application to access the partition by the partition administration terminal so that you disable any activity of the operation service provided by Securusys to that partition. So in such case, we could not issue any new credentials. We do not have any possibility of having access to your partition, but on the other side, you have full control over these credentials and full responsibility if they are getting lost, if your 
losing them, there is no way back to enter to that partition. In the short term, we're going to add to the cloud service the so-called transaction security broker. The transaction security broker combines the possibility to give approvals on how and when a key on your partition is being used by obtaining consent via notifications to transaction security agents. The transaction security brokers also offers a REST API. In the same manner, for your business application, it would be possible to address and connect to the cloud HSM service via REST API. The transaction security broker is offered as a Docker image and uh, is running as a Docker container. And if you need more detailed information about TSP, uh, please contact us separately or watch the videos regarding that topic. Coming now to the different packages we offer in the cloud service. If we look at the left side, we can differentiate the number of active platform, backup, business continuity, um, model, the administration, performance, capacities, port uh, um, uh, agreement levels, and pricing. On the top, the first three offerings are shared HSM offerings in our cloud HSM service. Enterprise standard is composed of four active HSMs running in the two active data centers and synchronizing their data to a business continuity HSM deep in the Swiss mountains. The ECO shared service is composed of two active HSM and synchronizing the data to the backup. The Sandbox is a special offering for testing purposes. We are running this in a debug mode, so it's addressing integration testing of our customers having ECHO and ES, or people just want to try the cloud service offering. To the right, we have Platinum. Platinum is a dedicated HSM. You define with us in the contract how many devices you want to have in a synchronization in a cluster and if and how many you want to have as a business continuity HSM in the mountain. In blue color, we also offer on special request HSM operation where you purchase the HSM, but we operate it for you in our data centers. So there, similar to the Platinum service, you have to decide on how big the cluster will be and where you would like to have the HSMs installed. As you may see, the performance is depending on the number of HSMs in the cluster and of the number of shared partitions on the same HSM. The administration of all services is done by security specialists. Currently, we are in the progress of ISO 27K a certification, which we are about to obtain in early April 2020. Support is provided 24-7 all year through 
for specific SO security office related uh, tasks and interventions, there is a limitation to the Swiss Securities office hours as we follow a strict four or six eyes principle in doing such changes. Now let's come to a comparison with other cloud services, key storage services in the cloud. I compared the Securities Cloud Agency Service with others like the big ones, Azure, AWS, and Google. They all offer their key storage cloud HSM uh, or HSM protected key solution. The level of the certification of the HSM is different, so whereas we offer FIPS 140-2 level 3 compliant HSM and using physical HSM, the offering of Azure is on a level 2 stage. The pricing model is pretty depending on the different um, providers. Many of them know a, a model of which depends on setup fees or service fees plus operational cost, transaction cost per keys used, keys listed, um, and the number of keys you hold. For this comparison, I just made a, a simple example. Let's say we have 100 keys which live in five active versions. Uh, we do 100 key operations symmetric. We do 10 key operations asymmetric and 50,000 signing operations, asymmetric operations with 4K key material. You see that in the Securities ecosystem, we just have a flat rate model. In Azure, it depends a bit on the service contract, but with a standard service, um, you getting up to around 2,000, uh, 2,200 euro per month. In AWS, the cost depends on the hours you use the HSM and reflects to 1,400 per HSM. So if you have a redundant uh, setup, it would be like 2.8. And Google, there is also a calculation depending on the usage of keys, the key versions you hold, and it's roughly around 1,250 and so on. Um, Azure and AWS are pretty interesting if you just need it for very short term, so you just pay um, little time. Um, the others are more um, focused on services which need permanent reachability of the HSM. The access to the HSMs are in the Securities case, by all the typical APIs, Azure is typically used behind REST API, AWS uh, offers P11, CNG, or JCE, and Google integrates directly or is placed behind the cloud KMS service. So the Securities focus is really on cross-platform. So whenever you are able to install the API on your solution, you're able to use and integrate the Securities Cloud's HSM service. Independent, if your service is running on Azure, AWS, Google, on your own environment or wherever. The other services from Azure, AWS, and Google, they're focusing pretty much on a needless integration with 
servers and services running on that very same platform. Well, some more words about what is better, having a cloud HSM solution or an on-premise? What is needless to say is that, of course, with a cloud HSM service, you don't have to do big evaluation, installation, set of procedures, and you have no upfront costs. So in cloud HSM, you just have a monthly subscription fee, and that's it. If you compare this to an on-premise offering, you must compare the right things with the cloud HSM. In cloud HSM, we have a redundant HSM cluster. So you would have to compare it to an HSM cluster of three devices. You need maintenance and support subscription, so you have access to the updates. You're going to need warranty extension, so to cover any hardware failure above two years. You need training. You need replacement of hardware. You need installation and integration works to be done. You have to set up in some manner that the logs are collected and monitored, that alerting is taking place. This can be from a very standard uh, way uh, to a more elab elaborated way. Process has to be in place. Who can do what on the HSM to really have a secure environment? And of course, you have to count in some way the color space the electricity and network cost. In both cases, you will have to do the provider installation and integration to your business environment, to your services. So this is not compared in the chart on the left side. Comparing clouds versus on-premise, you see the lowest red line. This is the cloud HSM Echo service. The pinkish line would be a very simple minimum setup of E20 without any Deconos, just one E20. Then we have just parallel to that, the gray line, which will, would be like the full set of an on-premise installation, having the same three times E20. And as a brown line, you see the clouds ages and platinum service, which is somewhere in the fourth year, uh, you're gonna get um, the break even with an on prem installation. Well then, what are the benefits of Cloud's HSM? Let's summarize it. The deployment is simplified. Integration is mainly done. The monitoring alerting is covered by the service provider. Very low upfront costs. Professional services are guaranteed. Operational procedures are defined and in place. You don't have to define specific personal for that. It works out cross-platform with the different APIs we offer. And you really have the key material under control, just thinking of the partition administration feature which is coming out this month. All right, thank you very much for your attention. Please contact your sales representative if you have any more questions or reach out to me. Thank you. Bye.